Well, this is not a spring chick the bikinis are in. Yes, I know you're probably wondering, where in the world have you been? One of the things I'm going to talk about today is cross-platforming. You're going, what? Yes, cross-platforming across social media platforms. Now, here's one of the things that, well, actually, you may realize this already, is a lot of times when brands are trying to promote themselves, they're saying, oh, well, you can do this, you can do that, and you develop a group here, and then you take, should I even mention names? Well, so, just all the all the social, all the media, social media, including platforms. YouTube. Yeah. So whether it's you know YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, as well as other video sites, right? And so part of it is people think, oh, you develop a fan club in one location, then you take the fan club over to the other location, and then you go to the other location. It does. I mean, which it sounds like it's really good, and a lot of times you see the the brands promoting themselves, and they'll say, has a little Facebook logo and it has a little Twitter logo. And now you're starting to see Pinterest, and you know, and you know, what do you see? Uh, I would say Delicios or Tumblr or some of these these other different um, Bebo, Bebo, MySpace. And, yeah, some of these other different forms. Um, and one of the things that people will talk about how social media works and how you do this and, and do that. But one of the things that we realized before, and I think they realized it at YouTube, is um, when they develop these channels, you develop an audience on one channel and it doesn't necessarily carry over to the other ones. You're going, what? Come on, that doesn't make sense. No, it never has. I started out in the early days of television, and I can guarantee you that if a person was watching uh, a show on from one to three, they watched that same channel from one to three until mm -hmm. that show was no longer on. That's mm -hmm. called they build up um, a, a brand loyalty, and that brand loyalty still persists today. If you're on. The NB, if you watch NBC News, you don't watch CBS News. If you watch ABC News, mm -hmm. you don't watch CBS News. If you watch CBS News. If you watch NCIS, you don't watch American Idol. That's right. And it's carried over. And Yeah, I mean, television is a perfect example. And they notice it also, of course, like when you have a television show in one spot and then they change the it night. It always dies. Right, because the audience they built, like, say, Sunday at 8, is not their Wednesday at 9 o'clock. Well, they generally will not move. <laughs> I mean, they flat out will not move with the show, which I find to be unbelievable. You'd think that it would, and it does not happen. It doesn't. I mean, DVRs have helped a lot. DVRs are digital video recorders or TiVo, right? So you can go ahead and record it and play back later. But it doesn't work like you would think it does. Also, there are some people that only stay on one channel, like it's ABC, CBS, NBC, Fox, or whatever it is, and they stay on that channel all night, and you're thinking, well, what about, are they doing channel surfing? Not necessarily, but the same thing carries over to the internet. So, for example, if you're used to YouTube, and you're used to one channel on YouTube, right, you don't necessarily carry over to the other channels on YouTube. No, YouTube is finding it out right now. They've got a, they've got a whole bunch of brand and new channels that they're hiring experts to come in in the industry to try to figure out how to get people to watch the new channel. Because if, uh, for instance, you're watching, uh, you know, a channel that features Jack Black, you watch the channel that features Jack Black, and you don't go to anybody else's channel. Mm -hmm. It just doesn't happen. Mm -hmm. And they're finding it out the hard. They're sinking tons of money, and it's not working because they're doing everything the wrong way. Well, and it's one of the things that we have learned. Because, and the reason why we've learned this is because we've had video sites on one company and we built up an audience and then... They, 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 we, we told people like three months in advance mm -hmm. that the um, MSN was folding. Right. And not, no, one, no one moved. No one. They, they didn't move, right? right. And, so, and, and this has not happened only to MSN but to other video sites too. Every video site Every video that was in existence, the people did not move. They, uh, they, um, they, a lot of it, as I understand, is that they don't want to sign up for something new. That sign up process is the killer for most people. If you just make it available that anybody that wants to can see the product, mm -hmm. you, you're in business, but they won't do it. You have to sign up to be a member of the thing. Right. Because it's a matter of them sending advertisements out, which you can help out, out of. You can opt out well, of it. Yeah, because even us, it's like, what do I need to sign up for? And, you know, you got to keep all your passwords. And you go, I'm like, well, is this like, is it that difficult? Well, part of it is, is if you're on YouTube, you go to YouTube and you check it out periodically. It gives you recommendations. But you don't go on. And even though they're available on the Internet to search, you don't go to the Internet and search. 
for bikinis are videos or bikinis are latest videos or or whatever they have you know you, you also don't search for I mean um, if you're on Jack Black you don't go search for Billy Joel oh, and true. if you're Billy Joel you don't search for Jack Black it and when they come up in the search engines it does not necessarily give you the most recent video you know what I mean it's not chronological no it doesn't right? it's just the whole problem system social media is handled ass backwards because mm -hmm. I can guarantee you that being from the early days of television, I we we learned the hard way in order to make things work. In uh, advertising, you had to cross-platform everything, and we're talking we're talking television, radio, and print, mm -hmm. plus word of mouth. Mm -hmm. And today, they're depending solely on word of mouth. Well, you know what? That's true because one of the things I remember was talking about. Okay, in the earlier days of school, and they they tell you about buying out and like buying time and what you're supposed to do is they used to do for example it was a major commercial or major release by a company they would buy it out across the board right they'd buy out ABC NBC CB, ABC CBS NBC Fox you know what I mean all of the major primetime networks so that no matter what station you're on whether you change the channel or not you bought them all about the same time in the commercial slot you, you would see their ad so they felt like they were getting good coverage. Well you have to and um, but what has happened is today is that the people that are running the industry have totally forgotten that you have to cross pollinate. Mm -hmm. They they look at one thing and say it's okay. The uh, new the digital newspapers have failed, the digital magazines have failed, the uh, all of the video sites have failed. Uh, basically the social media sites, you know the 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 uh, Facebook, the Twitter, all of them, because they can't figure out how to monetize them across the internet, and because they're, they don't, they cannot understand that that Facebook is one part of an overall strategy, and instead they want to put everything into Facebook. The people at YouTube want to put everything. Okay, um, they basically uh, cannot supply uh, the demographics that that advertising agencies demand to be surprised. You can't do a cost per thousand, cost mm -hmm. per anything, because they don't add up the same they way. Don't, yeah, they don't add up the same way. And I think that's one of the things that they're all finding out. It, it, this reminds me of like the early days of, what is what called the early days of internet or early days of whatever yeah. have you, where people are just realizing it's like, you know, you can't use utilize traditional means to justify it or but you know you have to be in that spectrum yeah right mm -hmm. you know you have to be on facebook you know you have to be on twitter and you know as a company you need a lot of likes yeah right but we'll guarantee you that trade shows and other events are dumping everybody involved in social media now they want nothing to do with these people anymore because right. they're not they can't they're not getting the coverage that they expected because they expected something that was never existing. It was mm -hmm. all uh, you know, like a pipe dream. Well, you know, if we go to blah, 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 that has an internet publication, they will deliver us a million people. No, what, what, okay. How do, you, how do you actually know that you've got a successful uh, product on the internet? It what? isn't from counting. People watched it. Yeah, but it is, it is not by, um, it's not by the people that watched it on the internet channel you have on. What is it to make sure you got a success? Oh, the reach. Yeah. And how far it reaches out. It links how, to how, it. Yeah. One view. Okay, we're going to use me as an example. Nobody watches old cam. I can guarantee you that nobody watches old cam. But if you go back, okay, how can nobody watch the person and then have be in 55 different languages? Mm -hmm. Because they pick up one video and they spread it out. And that's the whole thing. They don't count links. Links is where you, the, you can have, um, for instance, the BC <clears throat> has almost has well over three million cooking links, mm -hmm. uh -huh. and um, we know that um, um, we've got. Okay, for instance, we have two hundred over two hundred fifty million links to product that we've produced, and then I'll go, well, how's that possible? You only got like ten views on some things because one view can be spread across the world, mm -hmm. and they all link to it. Mm -hmm. And those links don't go away just because the uh, you remove videos. They're still there because what happens is somebody has stole the video, you know, and then they keep it up. Mm -hmm. Or Creative Commons. Yeah. So it's expanded and expanded and expanded. So part of it is, is you're sitting there going, okay, so we know that people don't 
cross-platform. So that is, as a brand marketeer or somebody that's trying to promote a product or develop a brand, it's, it's important to know. So what options do you have? It's to build, basically build a presence on the different platforms. And people are going, but that takes a lot of effort. We know. We, we, we know. <laughs> Yesterday, we were we doing know. that because we have to expand across the different platforms. It took us hours, and we still didn't get the stuff done. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, it becomes it, it, it becomes cost prohibitive today for people to use the platform, which is why it was so much easier simply with television, radio, and publications. But uh, radio is dying, television is mm -hmm. dying, uh, and publications have already died. So you're going to have to use the um, internet, uh, um, uh, like all this, all the social media was like it was the publications that no longer exist. But you've got to get. You have to make deals with everybody out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you do. I mean, and part of it is it just, it, I know, it takes more time. But part of it is if you want that reach, yeah. guess what? And you actually, we also have to understand something else. When a social media all of a sudden decides to bounce people because they're not the type of people they want, <gasps> the type of people they want are the people that are watching the, uh, reading the material or watching the p videos that are being put up, but because they, they just simply, they back in, they don't know, because they're really not geared to pay any attention, mm -hmm. because they, they put tags on you that basically says, uh, you know, that you're, you shouldn't be viewed. At the same time, those are the videos that people want to see, mm -hmm. and that's, that's a killer. Those, you know, like they have a controversial writer on a blog. Mm -hmm. They basically tag that person as not to look at this stuff. That's what's bringing in all of the hits to the blog well, is that's the controversial. Been, that's been part of the challenge. Yeah. And it, well, let's just say that's kind of how it works. If you want the, if you want the views, it's usually with the controversy. We're going to try. The best example right now is, of, of, is the Hunger Games. Everybody has universally said this is not a movie that young people should be going to see. So guess what they all want to do? Yeah, they all want to go see what the parents have said, don't go see this thing. So it's, it's, set, it's the third highest grossing opening ever for a movie based upon the fact that there's so much, you know, well this thing has been had to be recut, it's just this, it's just that. It's, you know, children should not go see it without adults. Well, no adults take their kids to see these things. And that is an example of how the how the whole basically they cross platform because we know we've been involved in their cross platforming campaign. We've got they sent us material to get out under all of our systems, YouTube, uh, Yahoo, um, Facebook. Everybody under the sun is involved in making the Hunger Games what it was. Um, mm -hmm. Another example: um, Snakes on a Plane would not have existed except for cross platforming. Mm -hmm. It was done right. And they built an audience for a movie that was really... A, really I know, can you believe that? Yeah. Well, you know, see, that's where they always say, what is it, word of mouth is the most powerful... It's the one that yes. everyone, every advertising man in the industry tries to do the word of mouth. Because, well, let's just say, when people keep talking about it, it's advertising you didn't pay for. And, you know, and then, you know, there is no such thing as bad advertising. Never. As long as the product name is out there, mm -hmm. And it's not done, you know, you know, don't buy the product. I mean, if you say don't buy the product, you better explain reason why. Well, don't buy the product because they support, you know, a Democratic candidate. Well, that automatically gets the Democratic, Democrats to buy it. Don't buy it, this product, because mm -hmm. Rush Limbaugh is behind this product. Well, that gets all the people on the other side. So negative, there is no such thing as really bad press for anything mm -hmm. because it always pumps things up. But um, we're, 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 we're really hung up on cross-platforming because we have, we have discovered the problem of cross-platforming the hard way because it has got awful difficult today. Well, because here's one of the things is if, for example, you built up a, a presence on, say, any of the channels and you were only dedicated to that channel, guess what happens to you when that channel goes down? Yeah, you, yeah. you, you, you don't... We, we, but you're out of business, you've got to start all over? You're out of business, you have to start all over. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and one of the things that you've always noticed with us is we have unique names. 
So with the bikinis, with bikini czar, yeah. you can look up bikini czar anywhere and backtrack. And same way with old Cam. And or not a spring check or Monty uh, Bubbles. Monty Bubbles. Monty Bubbles, for instance, okay, Monty Bubbles we branded first. Mm -hmm. It was branded to make certain that we would always have a backtrack no matter what. That's how you can always tell if we were new on a site. We always start with Monty Bubbles. <laughs> we always start with Monty Bubbles. It's always the first thing we go with because Monty Bubbles is the oldest brand. Everything else is newer. Mm -hmm. And it's all, it's something, when you create a brand identity, that it, it allows you to restart. It doesn't mean that you're going to carry people. Mostly, you'll never carry the people over from the old site, but you're mm -hmm. starting a whole brand new, uh, a, a new site with that brand. And brand identity is also very important because if you, you if you destroy the brand identity, you destroy the product. Well, and I think the only way you work around that is you have one main location where because, for example, like the video sites and the social media sites, those are all sites that somebody else is paying the bandwidth for. Yep. If you have your own site, such as we have MontyBubbles.net, BikiniZara.com, NBA News Video Web, if you have your own site, they can always go back toward, it feeds them back towards that if they want to look. But a lot of times people are just dedicated to that channel right. at that time. And it's very hard to get people, we know that it's, takes, it's taken us a, a, a amounting, you know, as much as a half a year to get people to come mm -hmm. to new sites. A half a year I know, to come to a, a new site. It's a lot of time, it's a lot of effort, and for most businesses, the cost is not worth it, which is why social media is such a, a disaster for most people, because you have to be willing, um, it basically, it's like Amazon.com. You had to be willing to lose your shirt mm -hmm. forever in order to be Before able to... Before it really stood. And, a, and YouTube is basically, as every, most, most people know, loses a shirt on the video, which is why they're trying to, to create the new channels, to want to become an internet on the air. And, and I think a lot of that was brought about because of the internet TVs, yeah. because they wanted um, to have content so people could, because the, the complaint used to be, what, I'm going to watch my videos that were uploaded on YouTube, on, well, you know, technology and compression has advanced, so it's like, yes, you can load high def on YouTube. And yep. yes, you can't load 3D on YouTube, yep. right? And then it goes to the television, which is on this, you know... Uh, it, it's the wrong TV. thing for television. There's your problem. It's totally the wrong scale. But we, and web series is right now, because we know because we're involved in web series that aren't our production. Mm -hmm. But um, we are connected with, some, with several that are not our production. Yeah. But we know the process... I mean, they have just been aching for you know, for years trying to get this stuff off the ground because no oh, one the wants, web series? The web series. They don't want to believe, nobody wants to believe yeah, in web series. You know, the, here's the hardest challenge is the, the whole focus on web series has changed, which is actually almost a whole other subject of <laughs> is on web series, the idea used to be like, oh, it's just like, you know, some people do web you know what I mean? It's like, they're getting, okay. They're getting Oscar nominees and, and major stars well, stuff they, to do Like that. Ileana Douglas has been doing it, I don't know how many seasons it's been. When I interviewed her, it had been three seasons of a partnership they had done with Ikea, yeah. which Ileana Douglas and Keanu Reeves, I mean, go yeah. on. <laughs> okay. Now we know lots of people that are major, major television and movie people. Um, the people, actually, we've met the people over at um, the Star Trek. Mm -hmm. and, and they had the Star Trek Internet series, which was on for a long time. We've met a lot of the people that worked on that show, and they would get god awful big people to drop you in. You know, sometimes I, I almost think, okay, first of all, with, with web series, first of all, people weren't paying attention to them before. Um, and now advertisers are starting to pay attention, and I think it's a lot of it is because actors and actresses, between jobs, they have a little bit of excess time. Yeah. And so a lot of times it's them and their buddies. So I told my friends before, it's like, while you're waiting for stuff, why don't you film something, right? Well, the, the best example of a web series that took off is, is, is Will Ferrell's Funny or Die. That was just With, a web what, series. Oh, was it originally a web series? Yeah, just him making oh, him, you know, uh, know him doing his, his stick, and then other people started doing joining it, and in. Then he did and a whole channel. He just got awful major people to come over to work well, on his website. he's got some thing. really funny ones. Yeah, but his, but, but it's a matter of, it, 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 it just lost money. It just mm -hmm. lost money. It didn't work. Nothing he was doing. It got lots of views, but nobody wanted to pay for the stuff. Mm -hmm. So it lost money. You have to understand you're going to lose your shirt. If you're mm -hmm. not prepared to lose your shirt, then don't mm -hmm. get involved. And, um, and that's also web, funny or die, 
is the thing that basically benefited from cross-platforming across all the platforms that existed because Will Farrell made a point. He first of all made a point of making certain that Fox News didn't like it. Ah. And that automatically got him in notoriety. Him notoriety. And then he, he basically has all these social media oh. things. And oh, you know what? I remember one of the first one was the kid. Which basically The kid off. at the door. Yeah. Remember? Passing out, you know. It was an acting. What they couldn't understand on Fox News was Fox News. It was an actor playing a part. It wasn't a kid really doing it. It was an actor playing a part. And first of all... It got him a lot of notoriety for that one. A lot of controversy. Yeah. But they... Um, but they... The, the, it is controversy. Controversy... Here's the problem, too, is that right now, the social platforms don't want controversy. That, that's a tricky part. And, see... Well, actually, you know what? Here's the best best idea about it. Rush Limbaugh. Yeah. Okay. Or... Um, must Bill Maher. Bill Maher. Or um, Howard Stern. Howard Stern. Right? They, with yeah. controversy comes audience. Yeah. With controversy comes audience. And the people the people that sponsor those... Okay. The, oh, okay. Uh, HBO does Bill Maher. They know that Bill Maher attracts an audience, which they have, to, which people have to pay to see him because it's a premium thing. You have to pay to be Howard Stern. Bill with uh, Rush Limbaugh, he, he's not losing sponsors. He's gaining sponsors because the, uh, you know, the, it's just like controversy for these three men is something that is a gift from God to them. Right. They want controversy. They have to have controversy. I mean, um, but but. For the most part, the, the society in, is trying to destroy all three of these people for doing what they have been doing all their lives. I know, I know, I've been watching some of these things. It is, it's true. They're like, well, that's what they were paid to do on that. They were paid. Yeah. If you, if you have that person as your image, that's their persona. Yeah. That's the image that you wanted. That's the controversy you were created. So when they do something that creates it, don't be surprised. Well, I mean, I, I, mean I, 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 I actually used to do things on the Milton Berle show. I, was, I actually got to dance and sing on a show for a time. Milton Berle used to have a, a bit of stick where some, he'd have a heckler and he'd basically go, you know, wait a second, I'll check my brains and we can start out equal. This is the way it is. Most of these people want you to attack them. They have to have you attack them because when you attack, it gives them something to feed off of. They're not, they're very limited in their abilities to create original material, so they take advantage of something out there, use it, and then let you supply the attacks. Mm -hmm. And it works every time. But they want, okay, they want Limbaugh gone, they want Stern gone, they want Bill Maher gone, all of these people gone because they're exercising their constitutional rights. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't be able to say that stuff. And there's your problem with cross-platforming, as we have sort of end this segment, uh. is that you can't do what is needed to be done on social platforms to keep the, um, the keep, ball to keep rolling. It going, because the controversy keeps yep. the It is called, a great percentage of your audience watches things at restaurants, they watch them at bowling alleys, they watch, they still have bowling alleys, they watch them, you know, all in, in fast food places, they watch them at work. Well, now they have decided to censor everybody that is watching those things. But wouldn't you say on some on certain certain aspect that you're protecting people? You're protecting people from the from the from Michelangelo's Piata. That's right. You're protecting people from Bill Maher exercising his constitutional right to be to say something stupid. You're protecting them from Rush Limbaugh from saying things to get your goat. Mm -hmm. You 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 end up. I mean, you protect people from everybody that you shouldn't be protecting them from. That's right. This what, and what, it, what happens is there's no freedom of speech. That's right. Yeah. So, anyway, check it out. We've got a lot more to come. But meanwhile, check out our websites.